Coming up next, Merola's Meanderings, an amateur program of family, fun and factoids. Today's date, 20th February 2010, Anna Domini. Time 17.45, Central European Time. Place, Malbun in the Principality of Liechtenstein. Season 1, Episode 1, on holiday in Malbun. Hiya, and welcome to Marola's Meanderings. Uh, my name is Frank Marola, and I'd like you to welcome you to our Maiden episode, Season 1, Episode 1. And I'm going to take a few minutes here to describe uh, Malboon to you. Malboon here in the Principality of Liechtenstein. Um, perhaps just a quick view out of the, the nice evening skyline here. It's one of those places that are relatively sure to have snow. In German it's called Schneesiche. So you got a bit of German there. And we've been coming here for the past 20 years. Um, our youngest daughter Rebecca was very small when we came in 1991. And the first house we stayed at was a place called Haus Vogt which is just up the hill that way. It no longer exists because maybe 10 years ago there was a huge avalanche and uh, totally wiped out the house. Since then we've been in two other places. We've been at the, um, the cabin down the side here which was extremely cold. I remember it was almost colder inside than it was outside sometimes. But it did make going back to Zurich uh, very warm afterwards. You got used to the cold. So what can I tell you about Malboon? Um, some interesting highlights. It's maybe the size of the Bronx, I would think. Tiny little country, uh, ruled by a prince. It doesn't have its own money. It uses Swiss money. Um, it does have its own stamps. It's a part of the European Union. Switzerland itself is not in the European Union. So there's some overlap with Switzerland and yet some overlap with the European Union. The German dialect they speak is somewhere between Swiss German and Austrian German. Okay. Very interesting. They make good beers. They've started producing their own beers called what's it called Renee? Lendlebroy. Lenzi. Lenly beer, different types of beer and it's become very popular. Um, we are now here in House Beck with um, my family and the Zubers, and this is Renee back here. <laughs> okay, he had a bit of a bloody nose today, but other than that he's doing alright. 
And over the last 20 years, different things have happened. Uh, Renee's son Stefan broke, actually punctured a lung on a during a um, snowboarding accident. He tried to do a very crazy jump and fell and punctured one of his lungs. Another time, Rebecca, my daughter, was coming down the side of the hill and uh, there wasn't a lot of snow that year and she crashed and uh, broke her wrist. So we've had a few episodes up here, uh, probably like any family. Another interesting factoid for you all is this is a bit patriotic. We were walking down the hill one time. There's a hotel down here called the Hotel Turno. And in the middle of the, the square, the, the turning area where the buses turn to go back to Vaduz, I looked up and there was a bunch of flags. And lo and behold, they had the American flag, but it was upside down. So, of course, I had to go in and tell the the owner of the hotel that the flag was upside down, it might cause some bad blood. And they did go uh, decently and uh, change it so it was the right side up, the stars were up. What else can I tell you? Um, another interesting thing here is there was a time where, Mal well, Malboon is very small. They, they're not like one of these big ski areas like like Davos or Zermatt or anything like that. They're very family oriented. But a few years back they wanted to somehow get on the map and what they did was they started uh, importing strippers and table dancers. And my children were traumatized. We went into the one of the hotels one evening for dinner and this sort of Brazilian cocoa um, coffee colored beautiful young woman past them, but she was topless, okay? Uh, I think they've gotten beyond that point now and are now trying to build up. They've renovated the ski lifts, they've modernized the ski lifts, and as we go tomorrow, well, tomorrow we'll be going to down to the church, and on the way I'll, I'll show you the, the new big ski lift, the Sarai's lift. Um, just let me check my notes here. One other thing. Um, anything else I could add, Joe? What do you think? Any other interesting points? We, we love it here, essentially. This chalet, perhaps you can just do a quick scan of, of the chalet, belongs to the uh, family Beck. Old Liechtensteiners, and uh, we've been renting from them for the past 20 years. Not great. The Liechtensteiners are also famous for cold cuts and things. They create a bacon called Malbuner Speck and all sorts of smoked meats. Um, very Catholic country. Of course, the prince is uh, runs it. I really can't think of anything else to tell you right now, actually. Let me just get up here. We're going to try to keep these episodes as low-key, as family-oriented, and as hopefully as interesting as possible. On that note, um, I'd like to tell you tomorrow we'll be doing our second episode, the second installation um, on Malboon called The Demons of the Friedenskapelle. So I hope you'll join us tomorrow. And this is Frank Marola signing off, and I'd like to say thanks and enjoy your life. <laughs>